I feel that every woman is capable of getting an education. Every woman is capable of changing um, their world and changing their, their perspective of, of the capability. Um, every woman has the right to pursue higher education. So I, every day I look at the mirror and I tell myself I have to do this and I can do it. Um, so I am a full-time student. I'm a part-time worker and a full-time mom. <laughs> so, but it's not, there's, there's ways that you can do it. You, can, you cannot do it alone, like I said. Um, you need help. You need to recognize that you need help. No woman is Wonder Woman. Um, even though my kids claim that I think I'm Wonder Woman. Why did I decide to go back to school? Um, was because I wanted to be an example to my kids and I wanted to make a difference in their lives and in my life as well. So I feel that if I'm not an example to my kids, who am I to tell them, you need to get an education, you need to go there and you need to earn a degree and you need to um, be better for society um, if I'm not giving them that example. I have a huge responsibility with my kids and I always um, feel that it's not just with my kids but with society because we are raising leaders, we are raising people for society. Education was really important for me growing up. Um, my mother always pushed us to get an education and the importance of it. I always kept that in mind, so when I came to the United States, um, education was taken away from me because my legal guardian didn't value education, so I couldn't finish school. Um, so when I married to my husband, he said, we both had a plan to gain an education. Um, so I worked first and support him so he can go to school. So he got his degree. Um, then we decided to move here to Utah and he said, now is your turn. So I um, got my GED at Salt Lake Community College and quickly switched to Utah Valley University where I was, my plan was to take baby steps and get a certificate or some kind of bookkeeping or something like that. But then I'm like, oh, I fell in love with it. And I switched to an associate's degree in accounting, which I just um, barely finished. Um, and then I enrolled to continue with a bachelor's degree in human resource management. Um, I still have a year and a half to graduate, but it has been a, a, a journey that I have enjoyed and that I'm enjoying um, because I, I have been able to change myself and change other women and other people that I come, have come in contact with. When I switched to Utah Valley University, um, I found people that I'm, I'm thinking there were angels that <laughs> the Lord provided for me um, because that day that I went, I. I was in the ladies' room and then I heard two women speaking in the bathroom and I came out running after them and I'm like, are you guys Dominicans? And they were like, yes, we are. And I'm like, oh, great. I'm Dominican too. And so um, that's how everything started. And I'm like, I'm looking for help. I'm here to register and I don't know where to go. So if you guys can help me. So they literally grabbed me by my hand. They took me. Um, they helped me and that's where I knew I was home because you go somewhere else and you don't find that. <laughs> All I can say is that um, there is a system that works for us. We just have to take advantage of that system. 
And if we don't know the answer, we need to ask the proper questions. And we need to be able to find the help that we need in order to accomplish what we want. Um, we are not alone. We have support from counselors, from advisors, from um, other women that are willing to help, other women that have gone through it themselves, raising kids. Um, um, I know that we just have to tell ourselves that we, we can do it. For more resources, visit uvu.edu slash uwlp. Mm -hmm.